All right, ready for this, ready for this? <laughs> this thing is huge. So I have to put it in a bowl because it's so much. Look how much food that is. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that's a lot of food. And that's one burrito bowl. Oh, hi, Mark. For this video, I'm gonna show you all the most important and epic Chipotle hacks that essentially allow you to get more food for the exact same amount of money. Now, as you can see here, I actually have a video that I recorded. I tried to make it like a candid video where I used all these techniques and hacks basically in person. So what I'm gonna do in this video is basically kind of go through this step by step and explain all the most important Chipotle hacks, how to do them and basically how to get way more food because let's be honest, who doesn't love Chipotle? So let's kick this off. So we go here. All right, so trying to make it kind of a discreet angle, I know. Hey, how are you? So first thing, right off the bat, when it comes to, you know, the most important Chipotle hack, and I feel like this is just being like a good person too, is be super, super nice and respectful, right? They always have the control and basically the power to give you more food or less food. So if you're like a jerk or anything like that, you're going to get way less. So the first thing I always do is make sure I have a huge smile and say like, hey, like, How's it going? How's your day going so far? And I feel like this is not meant to be like a manipulative thing. I mean, this is just being nice, right? So that's the first thing you always have to do. Be super nice and be super respectful. Oh yeah, no, no rush, no rush. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously at this point they were busy. So she said, oh, like they were getting stuff ready. So I said, oh yeah, no rush, no problem. So again, just being nice and respectful and everything. And just being, again, a good person. How to go, please? So next thing is always make sure you order the burrito bowl. When you get a burrito bowl, you can get way more food in there. Because keep in mind, if you get a burrito, they're always thinking in the back of their head, oh shoot, I somehow have to roll this, right? So always get a burrito bowl. And I guess it's probably healthier for you not having the tortilla and all that kind of stuff. Can I get uh, both actually? So next thing is, first step, when you get to the rice, always ask for both. Now, what you're going to notice when it comes to a lot of these hacks is that as long as you just ask, you'll be able to get way more food. So, for example, like when it comes to when they say white or brown, the truth is you can get white and brown. So I always make sure to ask for both. So if she says white or brown, obviously, just like I said now, I said I could actually get both. And then could I get uh, both beans? I could actually get two scoops of black and two scoops of pinto. So now this is a big, big pro tip. Now, when it comes to beans, same thing, right? When, when she says when it comes to the rice, white or brown, I say both. When she goes to beans, black or pinto, I say both as well. Now, a big pro tip is that you can get a tremendous amount of food by asking for two scoops. Especially when it comes to the free items. Also, I'll get to the meat in a little bit. But when it comes to the free items, and this is actually a pro tip I heard from a Chipotle employee that if someone requests specifically for two scoops, they have to do it. So obviously, if you notice in the beginning, I think that rice is maybe not the best thing for you. So I only wanted one scoop of each. I was like, I'll just do one scoop of each and keep it at that. But when it comes to the beans, I love beans and beans are very good for you. So I was like, you know what? I'll get two scoops of black and two scoops of pinto. So this can get you way more food. And then could I get uh, chicken? chicken? Now, next big pro tip here is that you can get a meat and you can get the vegetables for the same price. So the key is to always ask for the meat first, so whether you want chicken or beef or whatever you want, right? Ah, oh, shoot. These headphones uh, just broke uh, while well, I'm trying to like make these work. Hold on a second. Yeah. I got to get new headphones and I've just been trying to like keep these going. The whole thing broke when I was traveling. So I'm trying to like keep these headphones going um, until they completely just, I just have to buy new ones. Anyway, so yeah, make sure you get a meat first, especially before you uh, get the vegetables, which I'll explain later. A second thing is if you want to get double meat, like say you're like, you know what? I'm really, really hungry. I really want to get, you know, my protein in and I want two scoops of chicken. This is a bit of a great technique, not only for Chipotle, but for ice cream actually as well. Always ask for one scoop. Then kind of do be the, uh, you know what? On second thought, I'll get two scoops because they've done studies on this and they find that if you ask for one scoop, or excuse me, if you ask for two scoops, they're way more likely to give you two mini scoops as opposed to if you ask for one, they'll typically give you a little bit more 
and then you ask for a second after that first they'll give you in more on top of that right so if you are going to get double meat always make sure that you do one pause make like, you know what actually I'll, I'll do two scoops you know what i mean now in this case i only wanted one scoop of chicken again this is like the normal price for a burrito bowl and i'm trying to maximize the amount of food but if you do want to spend that little bit extra to get double meat always get one pause and get a second And then you open, also have to have vegetables. What? Okay, fine, sounds good then. So now at this point, obviously, I think they were just kind of preparing the vegetables at this point. Um, then ask for vegetables. Remember, you can get vegetables on top of the meat all free. It, it's, it's, it's all kind of included. And that's the big thing I noticed a lot of people overlook is the whole vegetable aspect. But remember, get meat first, vegetable second. So they just brought the vegetables. She's gonna hook it up. Uh, so I'm gonna do two scoops of the hottest sauce you have. So obviously I love hot sauce. Um, again, this is very optional now, but same thing, remember the two scoops are key. So I always ask for two scoops now of the hot sauce. And then I'll do some salsa as well. So obviously I'm gonna hook it up with the salsa. I know it might be a lot, so, but. <laughs> so now, this is a big thing too. At this point now, especially when you get to, you know, you kind of have like your rice and beans in the beginning. You try to choose your meat and your vegetable. And at the end, it's kind of like the toppings, right? Salsa, hot sauce, uh, guac, sour cream, cheese, et cetera, et cetera. Now, by this point, especially when you get to those toppings, that last, you know, the third station, your burrito bowl by this point should be pretty thick. It should be pretty big. And you might even notice some employees looking at me and like, you want more on top of this? So I always like to kind of call it out. And I find this helps a lot by you saying, hey, I, I know it's, it's it's a lot, or I know I'm getting a lot of food, or I might say something like, oh, I'm really, really hungry today. And I might even add on top of that, I know it might not close, but we'll just try to fit in. So I'll kind of call it out saying, look, I understand that this burrito bowl that you're looking at is massive, but that's okay. You know what I mean? And I think this kind of helps call it out because they may be like in the back of their head, shoot, I don't know if I want to even what we're food in this, I don't even know if I can close the lid on top of the burrito bowl, right? And obviously I got this to go. So it's like, I don't even know if I can close it. So by calling it out, it kind of makes it a little bit easier, kind of leaves that tension of them saying, shoot, this is this is a lot of food. Like my meal for the day. <laughs> and yeah, so I made some kind of meal. Of the, the corn. So I always get corn. Obviously corn's good for you. And then I'll do some cheese. And so, lettuce. So at this point, also I got cheese and lettuce. Uh, you can get sour cream if you want. That is included. I, I just know it's not as healthy for you. So I decided, I'm like, you know what? Because especially at this point, with, with all the stuff in it, I don't really need any other toppings or flavors, right? I mean, I've already maxed out a lot, you know, in this uh, in this burrito bowl. And then that would be perfect. And that's a lot, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I'll kind of reiterate, oh, you know, I know that's a lot because sometimes I mean some I've even seen some employees go and get like a second burrito bowl just so they can almost put like most of it in one and then the kind of the, the remnants or the remainder of it in another one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of beans, so it's hungry. Now, the last thing I will say is I always like to reiterate. I mean, they'll obviously tell you the person behind the counter. They usually kind of relay to the cashier. But a lot of cashiers sometimes look and be like, wait, did he just get chicken? So I can reiterate, yeah, I just got chicken. And then I'll say something on top of like, yeah, I got a lot of beans. Or I got a lot of rice. So I kind of reiterate, hey, even though this bowl is massively bigger than normal, it is the same price because I got more of the free items. Rice, beans, hot sauce you know, cheese, lettuce, et cetera, et cetera. I'll leave you this last pro tip. Always make sure you go to Chipotle yourself. You know, I know Chipotle now delivers and everything. If you get delivery or if you ask a friend to do it, you will always get way less for the same amount. So I guess leaving you with the last pro tip, go yourself, be a nice person, always ask, and you get a ton of Chipotle.